Hello again. So I have another testimony to share and this one has to do with what is in your home and um, idolatry and basically items that are like portals into your home, kind of like bringing demonic forces <laughs> into your house. Um, so this is my uh, story testimony of what happened. Um, and so basically one night we were going to bed and this is when I kind of started getting back into reading my Bible and believing, um, not believing, but basically coming closer to Jesus um, because I had backslidden, you know, and I was just getting sucked back into um, the world. So this was um, as I was breaking free and, you know, trying to stay close to God. So there was this night where um, we were getting ready for bed and my son, he was three and he still is three now but um so he's three years old so this was just um you know before christmas i think it was before christmas and so my son was um we were getting ready for bed and um the light was off and my son started seeing stuff in the room he was looking around and he was like getting scared and i was like what the heck is going on like and he was like there's a butterfly he was calling it a butterfly and that it was zooming around and he was literally like this like going like this you know and then he started acting like it was like getting close to him and like attacking him because he would go ow ow you know and I'm like what's happening what's happening right now because like, I know that this stuff isn't, like, made up. Like, I wasn't just going to be like, it's nothing, be quiet, you know. That's not, there's nothing there, and that's not real. Like, I know it's real. Like, if you believe in Jesus and the Lord, you know that there are principalities and powers out to destroy you, out to get you. You know, they want to kill, steal, and destroy. So, I was like, I was taking this seriously. And he was like scared and he was acting like it was like stinging him like it had a stinger he was calling it a butterfly and like it was getting him you know and um, so he like didn't want to be under the blankets he like he was freaking out and he was like started to hide behind me because he could see it it was like above him and then it was like over there and I was like what the heck is going on so I was getting freaked out and then he was hiding behind me and my husband's just like sleeping and I'm like, wake up. He was not taking this seriously, which was like really upsetting me. And so I turned the light on and he still saw it. Like it didn't go away when the light, when we turned the lamp on and he like got in my, on my lap and he was like holding me and I was holding him like, and he was like freaking out. And I was like, this has never happened in our in my like in our lives with, with him like he's never said he saw anything or anything was you know scary um so I was just like I started praying to Jesus for it to go away I woke my husband up I had to really like kick him in the behind to like get him to wake up and I was like Abel see something like what the heck like there's something in the room, like he sees it, you know, we can't see it, but you know, he's young and innocent. He has the eyes of an, you know, an innocent child. Like they can see stuff we can't see. So, um, I think I remember I just started praying to Jesus and, uh, Mark said that, um, after that experience, he kept hearing in his head to clean your house, clean your, clean up your house, clean up your house, clean up your house. And, he told me and I was just like and I was thinking of all the things that were in the house that were like you know ungodly or like God did not like you know because it shows us in the Bible that you know there are things that God does not approve of you know he does not want you having these idols in your house or you know any form of 
I mean, we don't have any, well, we never worshiped the devil, you know, it was like, we didn't really have anything that evil, but, um, my mom has her stuff at our house and her stuff was like a lot of this, like she had statues and stuff of fairies. And I was like, maybe it was a fairy that he saw, like, they're not good. Fairies are not good. They're actually just demons, you know? So I was freaking out and I was like, I couldn't go to sleep that night because I was worried about him and I wanted able to be able to sleep. So I was like praying, praying and praying to Jesus and rebuking in Jesus name. And, um, when we woke up the next day, I was freaking out and I threw out everything. I started going through the whole house because I was like, no, this, this is not this can't happen. Like my son is like, he's not going to get attacked. Like, and God wants these things out of the house that, you know, are an abomination to him. So I, I started going through the entire house and throwing everything <laughs> outside. Like I went through all my video games. I went through all my, um, my anime, uh, action figures. I got rid of all that. I got rid of all my jewelry. Um, I get rid of all my jewelry and I had a lot of like, um, I had some crosses with like Jesus on the cross, but I felt like that was like a graven image, you know, to have like Jesus on there, you know? And it's like, we don't pray to things made by hands. We pray in the spirit. So it doesn't make sense to have you know that even though it can be like a representation but I was just like I don't need this I can still pray to God and be close to God I don't need this this little idol you know and then I had to go through my mom's stuff which I was like oh she's not gonna understand what I'm doing but I put I didn't throw her stuff away I just sat it outside like separated from all my stuff so I was just like throwing all my stuff out you know like everything I could think of that was that had witchcraft or was demonic, or had strange symbolisms, you know. I threw it all out, and I also, so I put all my mom's stuff out, and I told her, like, you have to come get this stuff now. Like, I can't put it back in the house. Abel had a really bad experience. She's just not going to understand, but I, like, I know what God's telling me, and, like, it's, like, it's upsetting when like something tries to attack your kid, you know, it's like you get really defensive and you're like, oh no. So <laughs> that's just how I felt, you know, so I was just like on fire, just like getting everything out of the house. And um, so I put my mom's stuff out and she had like a ton of statues of fairies and like pictures. And so I like had to set all that stuff out of the house and um, I also felt the need to fast like I was just like I have to do everything that I can so I need I want I fasted as well I didn't eat because for one I was freaked out and for two I I just wanted to do everything that I could you know I know that fasting helps get brings you close to the Lord and it it makes you stronger in the spirit you know, when you're denying the flesh, it's like, it's like you're denying the flesh by getting rid of all these earthly items that you don't need. And then you're denying the flesh of food, you know? So it was like, I just felt like that's what I had to do. So then that, when that night came, I was just like, really, I was really scared to go to sleep. I really was. I felt like there was a war going on in the spirit realm. Like I literally felt like there was a war going on so you know I get able ready for bed and stuff and I'm just like oh, I'm praying you know and I'm like scared and I'm like hungry you know because <laughs> I'm fasting but um I just remember sitting there and I had the light on because I left the light on you know so that he could go to sleep fine and everything so he goes to sleep and I'm just sitting there and I'm praying you know I just felt this weird feeling like there were angels just fighting in the bedroom over our, our souls. 
that's what it felt like. Like, it was crazy. I just felt like there was like this strange presence and this fear and like this battle raging, you know. It just felt like the angels were fighting and because, you know, I was, uh, I was giving up, I was giving up the flesh, you know, and I was praying in the spirit and, and trying to be close to the Lord, you know, and doing his will and getting rid of all these portals where they can enter into our home. So I did that and, um, yeah, I just felt that crazy spiritual battle going on and, um, it took me a while to go to sleep, but eventually I did. And I think it was pretty late though. Um, and so it was like, I think it was maybe the first week or two I felt like, well, let's say the second day after that, we would, we would get in bed and my son would say, butterfly's gone. So I was like, oh yeah, butter yeah, he's gone, no butterfly. You know, I didn't want to even mention the word because I wanted him to just forget, you know. And he actually mentioned that the butterfly was gone. So I was like, thank you, Jesus, you know, that he wasn't seeing anything. So I was like, it worked, you know, thank the Lord. Woo, hallelujah, we win, you know. So it was like after that, it's been, it's been months now. And I was just like, you know, I'm already stronger in my faith now and like prayer and like, I know what not to let into my home. Like I don't even mess around no more. I don't let any kind of, you know, abominations come into the house, any kind of, you know, whatever comes into the house, I make sure it's not like, um, God doesn't disapprove. And if he does, I quickly, I get rid of it like right away. Um, so that is my testimony. And you know, what's interesting about this is that the devil was trying to scare me by saying, don't, well, don't talk about it because it, it might just be a fluke, you know, like, like if you say something, it, it's just going to come back, you know, to scare you like that, you know, like, well, you know, people like to try to be like, um, like, don't talk about it because then it, it, it might happen, you know? And it was like, that's just the devil trying to scare me because it hasn't, it hasn't happened. And I know that I am staying close to God and I know that the Lord is protecting our house now because I got serious in my faith and the fear of the Lord was upon me. And I was like, I am not about to have things in my house that the Lord does not like, just like in the Old Testament, you know, if anything comes into the, uh, if they bring anything back from the heathens, God is going to start allowing, you know, the demons to come in and to like destroy. So that's my testimony. So if you guys have ever experienced anything like that, um, I just want to share how important it is, like what's in your house. For one, if you own the home, you know, then it's easier for you to get rid of stuff, obviously. But, you know, if it's like you're still living at your parents' house, it's it's not going to be so easy. But you could go as far as at least stuff in your own room and pray the hedge of protection and the blood of Jesus over your own room and uh, get, rid of, get rid of everything that you can think of that would be ungodly um, in God's eyes. Um, so we've been so much happier and I try to stay close to the Lord. I mean, I am for sure, like very serious about this. So I'm just, I'm so, so happy that it was like, it was only one night that we experienced that. And it was like, I got serious and cracked down and just got rid of stuff in my house. And, you know, I tried to research that too. And like, was anybody talking about this? You know, was anybody talking about like, what kind of stuff to remove from your house? You know, like what's, What's putting these, you know, putting any kind of, you know, demonic forces into your home? Like, what are the, you know, if there are, there they gateways, you know? So that's my testimony that, yes, those things in your home, God does not like. And so if you want to get serious and have protection over your home, 
You need to have the serious fear of the Lord, and you got to get rid of that stuff and ask God for to forgive you, and um, don't feed your flesh. <laughs> don't feed your flesh anymore. Okay. Um, well, if you guys have any comments for me, please leave them down below. Maybe you've had an experience like this. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. God bless you guys. I love you all very much. In Jesus' name, amen.